Hello, hello, my crochet friends. This is Sarah from Knit and Mimi. And in this video, we are going to crochet this gorgeous textured stitch pattern using our basic single crochet and also working the double crochet in a way you might not have seen before. So I use this stitch pattern to make these lovely washcloths, but you can experiment with any yarn and hook that you have on hand to make a scarf or maybe even a blanket. Now I do have a free crochet washcloth pattern to accompany this video and that is available on my website netamimi.com and I have linked to it below. And in the pattern you'll also find instructions on how you can modify this stitch pattern to make it in any size that you like. Now before I get started I do want to tell you that this stitch cloth is part of a set of three coordinating patterns that you can also find linked below and each pattern is completely different but I think together they do make a lovely lovely set. So if you are making a dishcloth you will need a worsted weight cotton yarn and a five and a half millimeter or letter I crochet hook but of course if you want to make anything else using the stitch pattern you can use any yarn and a suitable hook. Okay, so let's get started. So we will begin with a slip knot. And for this stitch pattern, you can chain any multiple of two plus three. So I'm going to chain 15. Okay, so our first stitch is going to be a half double crochet. We're going to skip the first chain from the hook and start by working into this second chain. So for this particular stitch pattern, I find the easiest part of the chain to work into is these top loops here. And you'll see why in a minute. So skipping the first chain, half double crochet in the second. And that skipped chain at the start does not count as a stitch. Now our next stitch is going to be a single crochet, but we're actually going to skip the next chain and do the single crochet into the next one. Now, here comes the tricky bit. So our next stitch is a double crochet, but we're actually going to work back over that single crochet and into the skipped chain. So if you want to grab a yarn needle and just find that chain. So let's have a look at the bottom here. So this is where we did our half double crochet. This was the skipped one. And this is where we did our single crochet. So we need to go back into this one here. So let's just have a look. We'll find the top loop there of that chain. There it is. So that's where we want, we're going to be inserting our hook. So I'll yarn over, insert my hook into that skipped chain and then just push the hook all the way through to the back and then yarn over so that we have three loops in our hook and then just complete the double crochet is normal. So I know that is a little bit tricky, but you'll get lots of practice in this stitch pattern. So I promise it'll get much easier. So now let's work the same two stitches again. So we're going to skip the next chain and then do a single crochet into the next one. Let's find our skipped chain again. So there it is. That's where we want to insert our hook. So we will yarn over, insert it into that skipped chain, push all the way through to the back turn over and pull up a loop and complete the double crochet as normal. So I'm just going to continue repeating those two stitches all the way along the chain until I have one chain remaining. So now I've just one, one chain left to work into and I'll yarn over and work a half double crochet into that last chain. And that is row one done. So it's already starting to look really nice. I'm really, really happy with the stitch pattern. So let's get straight into row two now. So we'll chain one and turn and that chain does not count as a stitch. And my first stitch is going to be a half double crochet into the first stitch. So now we're just going to repeat the same pattern that we did in the previous row. So I'm going to skip the next stitch and then do my single crochet into the next one. 
And now we need to do our cross double crochet again. So let's just find where we're going to insert our hook. So we need to go back into that skipped stitch and there it is. So there are the two loops of that skipped stitch. So that's where we're going. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook back into that skip stitch, push it all the way through to the back, yarn over and pull up a loop and then just complete our double crochet as normal. And that's all we need to do. We just need to keep working those two stitches all the way along. So you'll get lots of practice doing this crossed double crochet. Okay, so I'm just at the end of the row, I've got one stitch left and I'm just going to do a half double crochet into that stitch. And there you have it. That is everything you need to know to work this stitch pattern. So now all we need to do is repeat row two for as long as we want to. And the end result will be this simple textured dishcloth. And you can also see here that I have added a simple single crochet border all around the edge for a nice neat finishing touch. I really hope you have enjoyed learning this stitch pattern. And if you do have a second to subscribe, that would be absolutely amazing. I have lots more tutorials and patterns on my channel and website netofmimi.com. So do check those out. Happy crocheting and take care.